What, how big is your, is your workout facility for your club? It's just in your, is it a barn? So it's a, it's, it's actually right through this back door right here. And, uh, it, it's a, it was a four car garage cut off and there's a weight room on one side. And then, um, and, um, and, uh, it's, it's a, a little over, it's a 35 by 35, but yeah. we also run wrestling at the high school too. Right. So we do like, this is like the elite private training. This is like the getting the boys ready for doc B and the elite group coming in. And, um, but you want to know what, during COVID I would have 25 kids in here. And it's a hundred degrees in that room. I actually it has an AC, its own AC unit. Now this thing has come a long way. Like, yeah, during COVID hit, and they cl- the best thing ever happened to me. COVID hit, um, graveyard in shape. And like, boom! As soon as those doors closed, like I'm like, all my ideas about Vasky Bros were like, hey, now's the time. Let's go! Like I have nothing yeah. else to do, and I get done. They close the doors in shape, and I'm like, hey, I got a few thousand bucks put away. I'm like what are we going to do here? And it just so happened. My dog, I have a pit bull. We're in the apartments. We were the cottages we were staying at. They were going to evict me because of my dog. And my dog's like my daughter. I don't have any kids. And I'm like, Oh man. So I'm like paying a buddy a hundred bucks a week to watch my, my dog. And one week turns to two to a month. And I'm like, dude, almost two months in. I'm like, dude, this is costing me way too much. I got to find somewhere to go. So a sports advocate in our town is like, Hey, live out on this farm my mother-in-law passed away in her her house here on the farm and it's been vacant for three years you know like would it be something you're interested in um moving out to i'm like hey how do you feel about kids being around and they're like hey they're like track and field coaches they have a track and field out here their daughter uh throws a hammer at bakersfield cal state bakersfield let's and, go uh, yeah dude there you go she's a road runner and uh He's like, she was in high school at the time as a senior. And he's like, hey, we got this out here. And the other daughter uh, is a stud volleyball player. And the son wrestled for me in our youth. Not the biggest fan of wrestling, but his like genetics is going to be a big old heavyweight. And they're like big time sports advocates, you know? So they're like, coach, they even call me coach. They don't call me by any other name. Like, coach, you know, (laughs) what would you feel about? coming out here you want to come check it out i came and checked it out it's just my wife and myself I'm not married at this time and i'm like hey two bedroom two bathroom how do you feel about this being turned into a wrestling room and he's like hey i don't mind kids being out here every single day are you sure he's like yep so boom went took every dime i had bought wrestling mats threw them in the garage and at the time we were folding them out of the garage and it's so some are wrestling in a hundred degree weather here in the valley, yeah. sun beating on them. And, but everyone is coming out. I'll tell you what, I ran two camps out here during COVID. We had over 80 kids from Vacaville all the way down past LA. You want to know what Jesse Grajeda's son, Jesse Grajeda from St. John Bosco came out yeah. here. The Cortez, Cortez boys wrestled out here. I trained the Borelli boys. They, they've they been with me through club and through youth all the way. They've wrestled out here at the farm. All the launch training to send them off to NDSU was here in the garage. And as I started to, well, I started for free, everyone training out here. And then my yeah. wife was kind of like, hey, is this a hobby or yeah, you plan on making a living? So I started with like 10 bucks a day. Bring 10 bucks a day. Help me keep the lights on. There's no overhead here. And all I did is just start turning the money and reinvesting it into, and then we sealed it off. We got an AC unit. We hang up all the banners. Uh, we can do a little quick tour here. Can you yeah, see if we can put tour. this bad boy? So, let's see how do I turn this bad boy? There's got to be a way to turn it. All right, here. Boom. Here we go. So, we turned the garage. We turned the garage into the wrestling room. Boom. Right out the garage, sealed it off. There's my banner. Shattering State. One. And then every kid that comes and wrestles out here, I got to get Kish to sign his. My Lancer, my CBU boys. Fresno State, Cesar Garza. 
So pretty cool. NDSU, Vanguard, Cal Poly, Kendall La Rosa. And these are all my kids that wrestled Nebraska Westland, Marysville, Menlo, McKendry. And then they got their own restroom, their own shower. Pretty cool. Dude, that's tight. I bet it gets so hot and humid in oh, that room. Oh, man. hundred. Oh, yeah, 100 degrees in here. But they have their own AC unit now. But, dude, I'll tell you what. They honor this facility. And um, they, uh, there ain't no bad practices out here. They know they're getting ready for war when they come out here. So, yeah, it's kind of it kind of reminds me of like uh, like training lab, like where he has the garage. You know what I'm talking about? Like he'll bring guys back to the garage and just just kill them. It's kind of yeah. like that, dude. It's like, dude, if you come to the garage, the Vasky Bros, dude, you better be ready to go. Like it's yeah. gonna be a war. Yeah. You want to know what? Actually, uh, I was getting ready for a tournament in Vegas, and uh, I was flying out. And I'm telling you, dude. This wrestling room has been filled. College wrestlers stop by. I'm like, hey, you're welcome. If you're ever out here, you're welcome to come stop by. We'll get a workout in. We'll, I'll call the boys. They all they come out here. They, you know, uh, Juan was the best at it. I mean, I'll be getting ready to go to bed, and I hear weights clinking outside. I'm like, who the heck? And it's like 11 at night, and Juan's getting a workout in. And I'm like, so that's the uh, – that is the – that is the uh, the the wrestling room portion, and then the weight room's got the the mountain climbers and all the weight equipment. Dude, let's go, man! That's everything you need. That's yeah, everything got, you need. You got you got just enough wrestling space. You got all the weights. Oh yeah, we're set up. And uh, dude, this started with one bench and barely any mats. And like, dude, I bought everything at COVID pricing, so. It was a ton, but it's been, I mean, we got the Rocky Mountain Climbers, the Dragos out here, the mowers. Yeah. And then we're sending them on runs. And uh, it started with uh, it started with an idea. And then um, it turned out to be, you know, I just, like I said, I, I didn't know where we were going to go with it. We just kept it going. And uh, it's worked out, man. Like now all those banners are kids that have wrestled out here that we, we send off to college. So, 